Hello, and welcome back to Happiness on Tap. This episode is going to be something very different for me. It is going to be completely unscripted. It is not going to be an interview. Um, it is just something that I want to talk about uh, because it is coming up more and more as my podcasts grow, as I am handing out more business cards, and my, as I'm speaking with more people about both of my podcasts, that this question continues to come up over and over again. So once I tell people I have two podcasts, I have my Happiness on Tap podcast, and these are the kind of things that I do in my Happiness on Tap podcast. I love working with entrepreneurs. I also love working with people in the health and wellness industry. I like working with other coaches. Um, and I love the topic of intimacy and relationships. And these are the things that I focus on on my Happiness on Tap podcast. But then I also say, well, and I have a second podcast, which is Kink Your Way. And I work with people in alternative lifestyles so that we can continue to squash the taboo about sex, about kink, about BDSM, <clears throat> And just alternative lifestyles, polyamory, um, you know, so once I broach that subject or I have handed someone a copy of my podcast guest invitation and they see my Kink Your Way podcast, the question that I always receive is how many people after reading this or after knowing this decide that they don't want to continue working with me, that they're not interested in speaking with me, that they don't want to be on my podcasts uh, because of my kink podcast. Um, and my answer so far has been no. No one has said that they are going to choose not to work with me or be a guest on my Happiness on Tap podcast or be a coaching client because of what else I do in my career. Um, and my answer to, you know, that is that this is something that I am passionate about. These are the people that I want to help. And if you are going to choose not to work with me because of the fact that I work with people who are in this lifestyle, including myself, then you're not my people and that's okay. You can move on, you can choose to listen, or you can choose not to listen. You are not going to hurt my feelings. Um, I am living into my true authentic self. I am a married, monogamous, collared, submissive in the lifestyle. And I want to help other people be able to, and provide other people permission to be their authentic self or to speak their truth, a truth that maybe they've never spoke in their whole lifetime. And I've also noticed that once I get to that point in the conversation, it gives people permission to share things that they never have shared with somebody else. And this morning was a beautiful example of that. I stopped in at Dutch Brothers Coffee to get me a coffee to start my morning because on podcasting days, um, it's a long day for me. And I also, you know, I just love that extra energy. And I, you know, the people that work at Dutch Brothers are wonderful people. You know, whether this is a natural thing for them in conversation to just be, you know, inquisitive or friendly or curious but they always ask you, so what are you doing today? How are you doing? What's going on? And so this young lady asked me, you know, what's going on today? What do you have coming up? And I said, I've got a podcast episode that I'm recording um, and have to get that published and just some regular work. And she's like, oh my God, you have a podcast. Tell me more about your podcast. And so I said, well, I have two podcasts. And so then she wanted more information. What are your podcasts about? Um, I love listening to podcasts. So I handed her a business card that has both of my podcasts on it. And 
she, you know, we started talking about my happiness on cat podcast. And then she says, well, honestly, I'm more interested in your kink podcast because I'm all about sex positivity. That to me was a beautiful organic conversation. Um, and you know, when we finished the conversation and I got my coffee and she stuck my business card in her pocket and she says, I am going to check out your podcast when I get off of work. Um, and I hope to talk to you again. And then I'm going to, you know, tell people I got to meet the creator of this podcast. It's like that made my, my whole morning. Like that was what I needed because today has kind of been a day where I'm listening to Amel Robbins podcast and she's talking about uh, being a people pleasing person, which I've spent my whole life as a people pleaser. Um, and it's been difficult for me because I've had to learn that it's okay to have boundaries. It's okay to be my true authentic self. It's okay to not continue to be that person for somebody else who just needs me in their life for their purpose whether it's a shoulder, whether it's my strength, whether, you know, whatever that is. Because over the last six years, I have had to set boundaries with people. I have changed who I am. And it has cost me friends and family. People who, and I, you know, I did a post about this on Facebook this morning because it was so powerful to me to remind myself that it's okay to have boundaries and it's okay to change. And I've had multiple people in my life who have attacked me for those changes, who have shut me out because I'm no longer that person for them. I am no longer there when they need me because I'm moving forward. I'm spending time with different people, people who are more in line with where I'm going, not with where I came from. And I'm also learning that I don't have to be bullied. Um, and I, you know, I can choose to just say, no, no, I can't. No, I don't want you. No, I'm not going to accept you as a friend on my Facebook. You are not a friend. I don't consider you a friend. I'm okay with the people that I choose to see in my feed. I choose everything I see. I am not surrounding myself with negativity. I am not surrounding myself with what's going on in the news and the media. And yes, I, I'm saddened by it and I'm concerned about it. And I wish the world was a different place, but it's not, this is what it is but I don't have to choose to see it all day long. I choose to see people who are learning and growing and moving forward and sharing their wins and sharing their struggles, which is part of why I invite these people on my podcast, because I honor their strength. I honor their courage to share their stories, to be their true authentic self to support others. And so this was something that I felt I just needed to stop and, and do this short episode. And maybe it's something I will continue to do. It's not something I've been comfortable in doing before. Um, but this sparked a fire in my passion to want to share this with you my listeners, my followers, and just say that, you know, it is okay to say no. It is okay to have boundaries. It is okay to change. It is okay to not be there for everyone else. It is okay to practice self-care. It is okay to practice self-compassion. It is okay to give ourselves grace. And for those people that <clears throat> choose to 
lash out at us or choose to be angry with us or choose to be hurt with us or choose because they don't even know who we are. They can't understand the struggles that it is to be an entrepreneur because they're still in the corporate world, living paycheck to paycheck or in the corporate world, working for somebody else. And I have chosen to leave that world and have my own company and be my own boss. And it's difficult and it's hard. And, and financially it's, it's a struggle every day, but I show up every day. I lead with my heart. I am here to help you. I hope that my story inspires you. And if you choose to step out of my life, that's okay. Because I have the people in my life and in my circle that I want there and who want to be there. So, you know, I just wanted to do this quick, short episode um, to tell you that I love you and I love myself. And together we are stronger. So I hope you all have a wonderful day. And I hope that if you choose to be in my life, that I recognize that, that you are here to support me and that I can be there to support you. So I hope everyone has a beautiful day.